Good morning, and welcome to Morning Gospel Fuel with Mr. G. It is Tuesday, September 29th, the feast day of St. Michael, St. Gabriel, and St. Raphael, who are the three archangels. And they're actually the, there's numerous archangels. Angels translated uh, is also, also means messenger. But there's numer numerous angels that are mentioned in Scripture, but these are the only three called out by name. Uh, and they, they each perform a different mission uh, throughout Scripture and within Scripture. So if, you, if you're interested, feel free to do a quick Google search on St. Michael, St. Gabriel, and St. Raphael to see what exact uh, mission they were sent to do uh, for, for God. So anyway, today's Gospel is from John chapter 1, verse 4. 47 through 51. Let's begin in the name of the Father, Son, and Spirit. Amen. Jesus saw Nathanael coming toward him and said, to, and said of him, Here is a true Israelite. There is no duplicity in him. Nathanael said to him, How do you know me? Jesus answered and said to him, Before Philip called you, I saw you under the fig tree. Nathanael answered him, Rabbi, you are the Son of God. You are the King of Israel. Jesus answered and said to him, Do you believe because I told you that I saw you under the fig tree? You will see greater things than this. And he said to him, Amen, amen, I say to you, you will see the sky open and the angels of God ascending and descending on the Son of Man. Okay, so that's the gospel for today and uh, this was actually I was I was pausing because this was this sounds quite familiar this was a, a gospel uh, that was said not too long ago uh, just a few weeks ago and it was over Saint Nathaniel but I think it was is it Bartholomew Bartholomew I think is Nathaniel's converted name I'll have to double check, but anyway, I remember reading this not too long ago. It was just two extra verses. So I'm pretty sure this is Bartholomew, um, Nathaniel, and they're one and the same, just like Simon and Peter um, after his conversion. Anyway, um, so we've got Jesus uh, calling Nathaniel one of the one of the first disciples, and he calls him out. He says he's a true true Israelite. There is no duplicity in him. If you recall, duplicity is deceitfulness, so um, there is no deceitfulness within Nathaniel, uh, which is why he's calling him. There's also the fig tree, which the fig tree is a symbol of peace, um, which is where uh, Jesus saw him. Anyway, um, so as we get through this, uh, through the rest of the scripture, and the footnote says, you will see greater things than this. Um, Amen, amen, I say to you. But it says in the, the footnote of you that you is plural in Greek, meaning all of us, not just Nathaniel, but we are included within that. Um, so if we are all, as we are all called to be apostles and called to be angels and called to be messengers of, of God through how we live our lives, um, I think that's very fitting and, and, and kind of neat kind of neat how the you is plural meaning all of us um, so all of us will see the sky opened and the angels of God ascending and descending on the Son of Man because angels which of course is the who we're celebrating today um, on this on this solemnity I believe of Saint Michael Saint Gabriel and Raphael and angels are like the supernatural thing that a lot of people have a hard time grasping. Um, but notice how God says that the angels of God ascending and descending on the Son of Man, meaning they're um, coming down to him and also bringing him up. And also also simultaneously, meaning, and this is just my take on it, is that the angels of God ascending and descend, descending, meaning they are surrounding us, um, coming down and also bringing us up. Um, so we're, we're always protected under that mantle of protection that God wants to bring us um, with these angels. That's why it's important to pray to our guardian angels, which I need to do a better job of. Um, but 
that is, uh, you know, just some food for thought, I guess, today. I, I don't know. Let's see what the challenge could be. The challenge could be, um, you know, since angels translates into messengers, that's our job today and every day. And that's our mission is how can, how can I, how can you um, be a messenger of truth and love today? And to who can you show it to? Um, hopefully everybody that you come in contact with. But, um, but yeah, that's the challenge. How can you be a messenger of truth and love today at the same time? God bless. Keep it real. And have a great Tuesday. In the Father, Son, Holy Spirit, amen.